How how many times are you allowed to improvise while it's not recording? It's like totally improvised. Hmm. Never. <laughs> <laughs> well, ghost stories. Is the one. Uh, <laughs> and that's a one in a lifetime experience. Because basically, like every once in a while, you can say, "Hey, I have a really great idea for this line. If you think you can punch up the line that you're working on or whatever," but the director always has the yes or no on that one. Usually, it's read what's on the page, Monica. Okay. <laughs> um, so, Ghost Stories was a show that ADV acquired that uh, did not do very well in Japan. In fact, they had, uh, it had sold so poorly that they were taking it off the shelves. So, the Japanese company contacted ADV and they were like, we don't care what you do, we just need to recoup some of the money we lost on the show. Have fun. Ooh. And so, Stephen Foster at ADV was like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as long as, you know, because basically there's a, a tie-in with the company. So, like, anything that's sold here, the Japanese creators get money back there, and they just wanted to break even. They're like, look, we don't even want to make bank on this show. We just want to break even. So, ghost stories. We kept the names of the characters. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> um, and so my Good character story. was, uh, I know, the, the Slowly getting dimmer. Yeah. Hi, yeah. everybody. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Yeah. This happened during the ghost story panel. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, it's the ghost story show then. That's what it is. Oh, It was actually a spooky show. I, I believe it, but it's not. The spookiest thing is the things we say. Um, come on in! Um, but yeah, it was the first time that, that we had creative license and there was no script written for the show. Uh, we wrote it as we went along. We improvised the whole thing. Awesome. So you wanted to be the first person in. Because if you were the first person in, that meant you were the guy with all the jokes, and everybody else had to be the straight man. You know, because you've always got the and then everybody else has to just go, oh, okay. So it was kind of a fight to see who could get in first. Oh. Because then they set the scene, and then everybody else had to match that. And then it was a fight to see... I mean, it really was the best thing you could do with a bunch of actors who were just trying to outdo one another. <laughs> I want to be better than Hillary. I want to be better than Chris. I want to be better than Greg. Like, what can I do that's funny? And uh, it was it was just, it was a great experience. It was crazy. Because somehow, even though we improvised everything, it kind of created a story. Like, it kind of followed a plot. <laughs> a completely fracked up plot. <laughs> but it did kind of follow the plot. Um, but it was one of those shows that we just had so much creative license. I've never had somebody go, hey, as long as it fits the flaps and it makes people laugh, go for it. <laughs> so we had, like, my character in the original was a psychic. In our show, Momika was a very devout, born-again Christian. <laughs> Her name was Momika. And since you had the Christian, you had to have the little Jew boy. <laughs> so they had to fight. And now, basically, I should say that this show's whole purpose was to just make everybody angry. We wanted to be equal opportunity offenders. So we went for everyone, even Christians later. Yeah. It didn't matter. Um, so, yeah, and then we had uh, the little, I guess the main girl kind of stayed the same. She was kind of spunky and Hillary-ish. Um, and then Chris Patton's character was just kind of the scrappy best friend, but we turned him into like the womanizing character. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> and then the poor little brother. <laughs> he had these flaps, okay? The, you know, like the mouth flaps and stuff. And so we always make fun of flaps because they're kind of ridiculous. But this kid's flaps were like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> So he was slow. Oh. And Christine Otten played him. And then there was the cat. So there was a talking yeah. cat that was Rob Mungle. Yeah. And you guys, Rob Mungle is a comedian, and he is hilarious and incredibly blue. So it was fun to have him, his voice coming out of this little bitty cat and him saying these horrible, horrible things. Um, but yeah, it's probably the closest I've ever been to a Bible. Uh, I'm not incredibly religious, but I spent a lot of time going, okay, there's gotta be something in here. Okay, come on. Um,